So um, I learned something new uh, that's such a micro top tip uh, for people who are guitar gear enthusiast uh, that I just had to share it. I was watching a video about uh, Paul Gilbert's pedal board. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, and he said something that you can find there and people are talking about on some of the forums, but I thought I'd do a, a, a video specifically on this one tip. You know how when you, you set your, your, your knobs for your pedal board and you get it just exactly the right setting and then um, maybe it's on your board or maybe it's on, on the floor and you do this? And then you, you don't have the setting and you have to kind of fool around. Maybe you trigger two or three of the knobs because you're moving the pedal around. Well, look at this. Like, I'm going to put about the same amount of torque on on uh, on two of these knobs. Like, if I go over here and just kind of reach and do that, see how it just slid all the way up to the top? Well, look at this one, right? I'm doing about this. I mean, I'm, I'm hitting that pretty hard. It doesn't move. It's like it's glued in place. It does not move. And the re But if if I really need to move it, it moves perfectly, Right? So how did I do that, right? How did I make these knobs where they effectively hold their position very effectively? Well, it's a trick. So if you if you take the knob off, right? I'll take the knob off here. And these um, these knobs on a tube screamer are, are, you know, just the kind that I'm used to using a spoon there to take it off. And it has a little nylon thing on it, um, which which uh, I'm going to turn it all the way down so I know where to put it. Here here's what I do, and this is what Paul Gilbert's video told me is. You get a little um, O-ring, you know, the, the, and I'll put in the, in the, in the uh, description a link to the Amazon where I bought uh, 30 of these O-rings. And you take it and you just use it like a rubber band. And on that particular knob, you press it past this nylon spacer and it goes down to the bottom. And you'll see there, see, it's, it's now underneath the spacer. I can apply a little pressure and get some, some pressure on it. And then I'll put the knob back on. All right, put the knob on, clicks on. Now, that knob will not move unless I want it to move. And neither, none of them will, because I put an O-ring underneath it, all of them. This works on all my pedals. Some of them require two O-rings, because some of them have a kind of deeper inset inside the, the knob. But basically, put an O-ring underneath your knobs. You can still move them any way you want but they stay in place no matter what you do, right? So you can basically get a setting and uh, you won't knock it out. It will stay at that setting and you can change the setting and it will stay there just by adding a little rubber O-ring underneath. So I hope you like that top tip.